at first glance, the kitchen looks really clean, but today we're going to dive in and do a deep clean on the walls, above the cupboards, and on the appliance. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. These, which I'm sure are like that greasy dust. <laughs> So it takes it totally off. To clean my shutters, I also just spray them with Pledge, wipe them down. And the reason I like to use the Pledge, it helps them repel the dust. So I only have to spray them down and wipe them off probably twice a year. I only pull my fridge out once or twice a year to clean on the top because it's so hard to move, but you can see it's really dirty up there. Our son sells appliances and he said that he gets asked all the time how you clean the fingerprints off of a stainless steel fridge. It's hard to see in the video. There are fingerprints and the best thing I found, I just use Pledge. I don't get an expensive stainless steel cleaner. I just use Pledge and a soft cloth, spray it on and wipe it off. fingerprints are all gone. We just had our floor retile, and so this is from all of that, but all I do is spray this on my cabinets as well, and it cleans it right up. For my ovens, I clean the outside the same way that I do my stainless steel fridge. So I have a self-cleaning oven, so I'll just take these racks out and self-clean this, but I have a method to clean these that'll get them all nice and shiny, and I'll link that up in the corner can see the difference. I've left this one in the self-clean oven so it will clean my pizza stone and so there's no chrome on it anymore. And this is what you want to avoid. Same for the microwave, just clean the outside with the pledge. And then on the inside, I'm gonna put a cup of water. That'll kind of loosen this stuff that's stuck up on the sides and make it easier to wipe down. Then I'm just gonna wipe it down with warm soapy water. Toaster is also stainless steel, so I just used the pledge on the side. I should remember to film this before I cleaned it, but I just put the pledge on the outside and then remember to clean out the crumb tray. In the comments, let me know what you do to deep clean. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.